Hello everybody, it's Wizworld 100. You're the viewers and I'm the vlogger, and welcome to September Vlog 2014. Alright, so uh, now to do the usual vlogging thing as I try to do the usual vlogging thing. Well, first of all, all the videos that you may have missed during this month as unlike the, the previous month, August, where I didn't do that many videos, this month, September, I did a lot of videos so that all of you guys can get some, have something to watch and, you know, be entertained and, you know, it's just something I know how to do. So, lots more videos. So, uh, let's list off the videos that uh, you may or may not have missed. So, here we go. Two demo impressions, uh, the Super Smash Bros. Uh, 3D, uh, the Super Smash Bros. 3DS demo, uh, the Hyrule Warrior demo. The reason I did demo impressions is, well, Mainly because uh, I felt they were sort of special, and you know, it's not like, say, a demo you just find on, like, um, you know, your game console. Because uh, the Smash Bros. demo was a special demo, and Hyrule Warriors, I haven't heard much about it, and I got to play it at my uh, Future Shop. If you don't know what Future Shop is, go watch that video. So I got to play a demo of it, and I thought I'd give you some thoughts on it. Especially since I was kind of in between wanting to get it and not wanting to get it. Next. I did another Is It Worth It episode 2 on the Mario Party e card game. Alright, be sure to check that out as I did put a considerable lot of effort into making that video. Uh, I have to say, the process to it was not the most fun I've ever had until we got to the video games. And don't forget to check out the, um, the Mario Party e card game uh, game that I played with. Uh, SCXDR, Ninja Raptor, and Blonde Guy Gamer. Be sure to, you know, take a look at that. Take a look at that and see how the game goes. Uh, I don't expect that video to be very good, but hey, there, there's some sort of gameplay footage going on, and you know, it's there, so... Next. Uh, this month I got to watch a movie, or specifically... Actually, I did see a couple of movies, but this one was very specific. I got to see Rocky 1, and I uh, decided to do a... Or actually... Pretty much from the start, I wanted I wanted to do a quick cuts on it, so it's quick cuts episode two, Rocky one. You know, go check it out, see what I think. Uh, but a spoilers, I think it's great. Uh, another video is the uh, Mighty Gun Vault uh, quickie review, and the only reason I did that is because I was given a code by Comcept, and you know, if you haven't seen that video and all that goodness, they gave me a code. I, I played it; it was short and quick, and I was like, hmm, quickie time. Quickie. So, you know, go check out that video and see whether the game's worth uh, buying or not. I was kind of contemplating whether to put it on Is It Worth It, but it's not long enough to be a Is It Worth It, so... Well, I, even though I did kind of say it had a little bit of it inside, but it's a, it, it's a quickie review, so... Yeah, go check out uh, the Mighty Gun Vault review. Next. Uh, I finally uploaded the Plug and Play Sega Genesis uh, review. Even though that's supposed to be a River City Gamers exclusive, Angel Halo, the creator of it, uploaded his video on his channel, and I took that as a, uh, you know, just upload it on uh, my channel. I did think of it uh, as another way. It could be a way to introduce, like, all, all of you guys who don't know about this Plug and Play series to go to RiverCityGamers.com um, to go take a look at it and see the other Plug and Play videos and just See all see this uh, series that Angel Halo created that uh, I'm a part of and everyone on the River City Gamers is a part of and uh, go check it out. My video is just a demonstration of one of the many plug and plays. Next. And a new series. I know I've been making a whole lot of stuff at least compared to you know what I did and what I did do back then uh, lacking discipline. Um, a new series called Sunday Showcase, where basically I sit down, play games, and just, you know, show the game that uh, I'm playing. Right now, there's two of its... Oh, 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 yeah, and it's shown every Sunday, hence Sunday Showcase. So every Sunday, I'll, be, I'll uh, have a video of me playing a game for about an hour, hour, condensed into 20 minutes, basically going through the highlights of it. A couple of you really like it, and you're... and you've said you, uh... and you're saying that you... or at least you're giving the impression that you're looking forward to the next one since uh, it sounds like something that's going to be constant that you'll get to see every Sunday. And I plan to do that, okay? It'll be a constant thing. Every Sunday I will be posting a Sunday showcase, just an excuse to, you know, play my games and so forth and show you a game and, you know, it might interest you, you might find it entertaining, but whatever it is, I hope you enjoy it and I hope uh, you get entertained by it. So there were two videos uh, that were out this month and 
First one was the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers one, which was an experimental video, but because uh, a bunch of you who were, who were commenting and, you know, liking the video were able to let me know that, uh, you know, you wanted to see it. So next Sunday I did another one, another one on Super R-Type, which was a little bit shorter, only because I rage quit it and I scrapped the first take of it, sort of. Well, I did show the highlights of that too, but scrapped it nonetheless. So it's a little shorter because I wanted to aim for that 20 minute mark, which seems uh, seems reasonable. Because I, you know, unless I'm making a really good long 30 minute video, I, you know, I want to put it down to 20 minutes. So to not completely waste your time, okay? I want to entertain you, but I don't, you know, want you want you like watching like an hour long video take up time. I mean, you could always listen to it in the background, but this is one of those things where you kind of want to watch it at least once, and then next time uh, listen, it to, listen to it in the background. And speaking of a Sunday Showcase, the next Sunday Showcase, uh, I had, if you saw the uh, Super Art Type video, I talked about having a poll. I have a poll on my site, oh, we're gonna get to that good part, I have a poll on my site to um, give you guys the opportunity to vote for which is the next system that I will be doing the next uh, Sunday Showcase on. And uh, I was going to list off the games, but I realized that even with my small library of games, that is still a lot of game. So I limit it to the console. So you guys vote on which console, you know, you want the next Sunday Showcase to showcase. And I will pick a random game from that console, or as random as it can be, maybe, you know, to fit the mood, like October, like October with the Halloween theme game. So maybe a bunch of horror games and whatnot. You, you guys vote and pick for the console, and I pick a random game, so to keep it a surprise while still having, you know, some direction on it. So I hope you, you'll you vote on it. The link is in the description wherever wherever you're watching from. Just It's in the description, and go vote. Vote now. Wizwar wants you to vote. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, the voting will end every Thursday at 12 p.m. now. Yeah, 12 p.m., which is uh, at noon. So, um, that is when I actually start recording and then I start editing it. I don't, I don't record and edit this uh, video on the same day as Sunday, so, uh, yeah, it, it's kind of like a TV show, you know, they don't film everything all on the same day and then, you know, they air it as immediately because, you know, that's kind of dumb, so, yeah, it's actually recorded every Thursday and then Friday I try to, I try to edit it, Saturday is uh, just in case I don't make it because I want to make this be on time on Sunday, so vote before Thursday at 12 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, and uh, and Sunday Showcase will show on Sunday at 12 p.m. as well. Uh, Eastern Time as, as well, so, you know, start voting. And uh, so far, one of the systems is taking the lead. Next, the Nintendo Wii U Boxing. This is actually an old video, but I still figured I should upload it anyways, just so you, you guys can know. I made a video on it, so I wanted you guys to watch it. It's the only, it's the only next-gen console I have, and so far I'm enjoying it. Okay, and if you haven't gotten a Wii U, I would suggest getting it. It's a lot of fun, especially with uh, the games I play on it. Uh, but I am planning to get a PS4 in the future. Any chance of Xbox uh, 359 steps back? Mm. Nah, no thanks. So it's just gonna be Wii U, PS4, and PC. Next. Now this is gonna be the last time I do this. Is um, well, not not as a series, but uh, I uploaded zero to one hundred commentary on the uh, Dragonite review. Was it the Dragonite review? Yeah. Or, well, it, it, it was a commentary on a zero to one hundred. I think I'm just gonna make that site exclusive. You won't see that on YouTube because I think like that's really just filling in for space for space, and it's like yeah, it's not. I don't think it's worthy to be posted. But this, but. Um, that will be the the last time I will do that. Uh, you know, it, enjoy it. So commentary commentaries will be site exclusive. So be sure to go check out my site. Next, now for those of you who are fans of the Millionaire Batman back in the Super Nintendo guy days, then the name was changed because uh, in fear of Nintendo or running into trouble with Nintendo, that we went, went back to a uh, World 100. But anyways, I re-uploaded uh, all the. Um, Millionaire Batman part, parts 1 through 8, so that's now finally all on my new channel, and you can watch the glorious Millionaire Batman counting his money, because charity may be a good thing, but counting money is better, fuckface. Okay, I think that's all the video that should be out right now. Next, time to get on to uh, video updates for October. 
I think this is pretty generalized, but I, there is one thing that's, that is uh, new with this, is uh, Halloween videos. So expect some horror-like games to pop up. Definitely more Sunday Showcase, so maybe, you know, once again, be sure to vote on the site. So far, one of the consoles is winning. If you want your console that you want to see win, then go vote and ma make it take the lead. Uh, there's going to be more uh, Is It Worth It? I hope uh, you guys think it's worth watching, so be sure to check that out. There's going to be a few more quick cuts. Yeah, I have been watching a few movies lately. Uh, that might actually be another constant thing too, where I just sit down and I just watch a movie, and then I tell you my thoughts on it. The only slightly annoying thing with that is, uh, and I wish I could have improved on it, is uh, always having to set up the green screen and just... Uh, it's kind of annoying. And then having to remember my lines, because if you saw my episode 2 uh, Quick Cuts episode 2 Rocky, I had bloopers going for it where, you know, I was just flubbing so much on it that it was a, even though it was content, it was like a five minute video, like it was a lot to like, you know, memorize for me to like say because uh, I have visual snow. It's not very nice. Next. Recent pickups. So I actually did not really expect me to actually have picked up any games. I always go through all these months uh, thinking that I never picked up any games. So let's uh, get on to what I have picked up, or whatever I did remember picking up. All right, the first one is, uh, if you notice right here, uh, Wii U Party, I keep saying that, Wii Party U. And the only reason, the only reason I ever got it, aside from potentially having lots of fun, is it comes with a free controller. Free controller. You know, like, how can you say no to a deal like that? You get a controller and you get games with it. And unlike its predecessor, um, Wii Play, where it was a controller and nine games, this one has 80, and it's four players. So if anything, uh, I'm kind of expecting a lot, especially since my sister showed great interest in playing it, so I kind of bought it for her in a sense, so that we will get to uh, play with it and see. And plus, I really needed the new controller too, okay? The Wii controllers I have, they're still the original controllers, no... Wii Motion Plus on them, so finally I get to play with a Wii Motion Plus! Next. Oh, well, I, I have a list of it. Uh, I did get a graphics card for my computer, like, finally! You do not know how excruciating it was for me to save money and to uh, go towards a graphics card, but having it to go to, like, something else, like other game materials for reviews, uh, conventions, and all that stuff, and it's like, I never managed to, like, save enough money to get, like, a graphics card, and I kind of cheaped out a little bit on this, but it's not the worst thing I've done. Uh, the graphics card I got, start laughing right now, so I got the Zotex graphics card, uh, GeForce GT 640. Yeah, it's not that great, but it was only a hundred bucks and now I originally wanted to get a uh, two gigabyte GDDR5, but money and also the fact that uh, the, the, the price was just all... It wasn't abysmal, it wasn't too unreasonable, but I just, you know, I just I just didn't want to do it. So I, I just opted for this mainly for the price and uh, that's pretty much it. It's doing pretty good. I know I could have gotten a much better graphics card and I, I kind of wish I did, but so far it's doing a pretty good job. Like, uh, the games on my uh, Steam games are actually playing at the right speed. For instance, Magicka is actually playing at the right speed. I can actually play Payday 2 without the game jittering on me and I, like, you know, can't help out my teammates or myself. It's just, uh, yeah, that card really helped. Sure, it's not the best card, but hey, I got something for it. And in the future, I do plan on building another computer that has a much better specs on it. Next. Another game I got is Shovel Knight, which uh, the only reason I got it is because I plan to do a Is It Worth It on it, along with uh, Is It That Good? Because lots of people are praising it. It's like, oh, Shovel Knight is great. Oh, Shovel Knight is fantastic. I'm over it. And that really kind of alien alienated me from it because I'm just like, you're, you're praising it so much that when I play this game, it better be what you said, but it's probably not going to be what you said, and I'm going to be disappointed, and I'm just going to be like, you are bullshitting me. But that's not to say I, I expect the game to be bad. I expect it to be good, just not as good as, you know, other people praise it to be. But we'll find out when I get around to playing it and then, you know, doing uh, the Is It Worth It uh, video on it, which is uh, one of the videos that I'll be attempting to do whenever I get around to it, okay? Because I already do have another uh, Is It Worth It plan. Next, going to PC, I did get a bunch of uh, Humble Bundle 
free games, Retriever and uh, Tropico 3, because uh, Humble Bundle was offering free games uh, every Monday, and so I took the opportunity and got it. So uh, I can't wait to like try out uh, Retriever, because I've seen it before, but I wasn't so up for getting it. But now that they like offered it for free, uh, I'm gonna see how it is, and you know, it sounds fun. At least from uh, the gameplay footage I have uh, seen of it. Next. Super Smash 3DS demo, I got that. I, I'm counting that because uh, it's not just a demo, it's a special demo that Nintendo apparently gives to uh, Platinum members on Club Nintendo, specific Platinum members, as in random, and I got lucky and I got picked for it, so. I uh, gave, gave my other friend codes, or not friend codes, the uh, Smash Bros codes to other people, so uh, to all those who did get it, you know, congratulations. But uh, yeah, I did get that and I couldn't enjoy it to its full potential because my A button is misaligned and trying to fix that would be 85 bucks that I could be putting towards anything else. I'm almost really considering just getting another 3DS and transferring all the data over, but I don't want to because I love the midnight purple look on it. It's just... I blame some of the games I played on it that use the A button too much. Next. Uh, I got the I got Bioshock 2 and XCOM Enemy Unknown in a bundle uh, from... Um, Dollarama for three bucks. Okay, it was a double pack for three bucks. It was cheap in it and XCOM Enemy Unknown. I was like, eh, I'll give it a try. So I got the game. I mean, I already have Bioshock 2 on my computer, but I really don't plan to uh, install it because the second game wasn't, it wasn't that great. It was okay, but it also felt like a cash-in. So I, I, got it I got it mainly for XCOM and because it was only three bucks. Next. While we're on the subject of Dollarama, I did get, uh, let's see. Your shape featuring Jenny McCarthy. Why? Why not? I could do a plug and play episode on it. It'd be funny and stupid, and I do know of a perfect place to do it. Next. Uh, last one I remember just now was, uh, last thing I remember is, uh, getting Zelda the Minish Cap on the Virtual Console because it was on that Smash Bros, uh, sale week, so... And, uh, Minish Cap was fun, I really liked it. Although, you're probably, I'm probably not, or everyone's probably not gonna be able to, like, you know, trade puzzle pieces, which is the, uh, interesting parts of it. And, uh, the other thing is that final boss of Vaddy. Uh, I remember playing it back when I was a kid, and I needed a guide to figure out what to do. I don't remember how to do it now, so I hopefully when I go back to it, I can, like, you know, go in with a free mind and be like, what was I supposed to do? I don't remember specifics about it, but I do remember bits of it. But, uh, yeah, Zelda Minish Cap was a fun game. Next. All right, on to the things that I have done. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that I rearranged my work area and now that uh, my, my games and all my entertainment stuff is on one side of uh, the room and my uh, futon is on one side of the room as well. And, but because of this, I can't stream on, this, uh, on my main computer, which is uh, a really good computer, or at least, you know, for me and what I do, but, you know, it's decent, it'll hold up. And now I have to do an alternative where I use my old computer to stream, which is probably what it'll probably be, be good for, and also for recording footage on it. The work, the area just looks a lot better, and it's a lot more spacious, which is uh, the main complaint I've been getting whenever people come down and uh, need to move about. It's like, oh, there's not enough space, and oh, I made it a whole lot nicer, and no more complaints. In fact, I really like this setup. The only thing I was really annoyed with it is that uh, I was gonna have trouble streaming until I, you know, I was just like, oh, screw it. I'll just, I'll just um, have the cable running through the ceiling. That problem got solved, and uh, I hope streaming will not suck ass. Okay, because I really, I want good streaming quality for you guys to watch whenever I stream. Speaking of streaming, I was planning on having a constant uh, day where I did do streamings, like maybe Sunday or on the weekends, but not during the weekdays. But who knows? Maybe on the week. Tell me what you uh, think about that for uh, streaming, because I I plan to do it on the weekend where, weekend where most of you guys would be free, and maybe somewhere within the weekdays, like maybe Wednesday or something. I don't know. I, I do want to get back to streaming. It's not hard getting time to do it, it's just I don't make time for it. So just tell me what you think about the having a constant uh, streaming where, you know, every time on this one day there will be streams and you can go watch, yada yada yada, chat with Wizwar, he answers your questions and just chill out and have fun. Next. Uh, I've helped with ANC Games with their store moving, which uh, if you're in Toronto, uh, you should know that during this month, they've moved location down to closer to Chinatown. 
So they're on like the edge of the radius of uh, entering Chinatown and the, the place looks a lot better. Uh, but before that, it looked it like a mess. I went there to go help. So now that it's all better and more organized, um, go check out the site. They have a new playing area for Smash tournaments, uh, card game tournaments, uh, streaming setup, and the layout is just so much more spacious and so much uh, better than uh, their old place. So, if you live in Toronto, be sure to check out ANC Games. Next. The most exciting thing I did this month is got an official web domain. Yes, an official web domain. So now, uh, you actually just type in www.lazyworkscreations.com and you will actually go to uh, LazyWorksCreations.com I am so excited. Now you can just uh, go there and just go, just type in uh, www.LazyWorksCreations.com and you'll just be at the site. The other reason is because they have a video slider which is way cooler than uh, what I had to do on uh, webs. Next. Okay, so the last thing is I'm kind of contemplating about this is uh, I joined a network called Freedom. Mainly to just see how the whole networking thing will work out. If it works out, you know, I'll continue with it. And if it doesn't work out, I'll, I'll just drop out, which is, uh, is what freedom allows me to do. Uh, their conditions and their terms are, they seemed reasonable. And the fact that they let you drop out if, you know, I'm ever unsatisfied with uh, their networking and whatnot. And uh, just, yeah, I can leave whenever I feel like it if I'm unsatisfied. Which is uh, much better than uh, full screen, that which uh, locks you in a two-year contract, which is not so sweet. And I did try applying there, got rejected, and that might have been a blessing in the sky. So I'm just giving you know the networking thing a try and seeing how it goes. But that's just thought I'd mention that if uh, you also want to be a part of this network, uh, just go to the description. There's a link to it, uh, or at least I'll put a link. To to it and it'll go to a referral that's by me you know if you if you feel like it it's about the uh, freedom is about uh, helping small channels grow so I figured I'd give it a try I saw there was no loss for me so just went and tried it and that's it for this vlog I hope this vlog was informative and it you know got you all caught up on things you might have missed uh, giving you an idea of what my plans are for uh, October and you know all that good stuff so be sure to subscribe, like the video to let me know and give feedback and also comment for feedbacks. Go to my site LazyWorks Creation for all the up-to-date stuff, see all the content one week earlier with a few exceptions like uh, Sunday Showcase. Uh, be sure to check out all the videos you might have missed or you know, share them with a friend and just you know, spread the goodness around and join the Lazy Work Legion and become a part of something bigger eventually. I mean, you want to be a part of something big, right? Start joining. But uh, yeah, this is WizWar 100. Until next time, stay tuned as we enter October for Halloween video game goodness and so much other stuff. Thanks, guys. You've been very supportive and great. And that's the truth. <laughs>